what's going on YouTube, Jeans here, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, we are back, finally playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto the ranked up ladder, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this content, but like I said, before Mario even started, the Pokemon content is not going anywhere. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on these videos. If you guys haven't checked out any of my Mario playthroughs, go check them out. They're tons of fun to record and a blast of the content to watch. But rocking out on this team right here, we got ourselves a Drifloom Unburdened Weakness Policy, policy Team. Blah, can't speak right now, but yo. I used one of these teams back in like season three, I think, and this was my favorite team to use. I used to like run it, used to go in with the Milotic and the Drifblin, trigger the Unburden and Weakness Policy at the same time, and just roll from there. But Drifblin over here has Shadow Ball, Icy Wind, Gust, and Protect, and normal moveset. You kind of just need the Shadow Ball and uh, Gust for Stab. They're probably the two best. We also got the Sidui on the right side over here, top right, with the Cobra Berry so it can eat up some air shots, Overgrow, Pulte Geist, Leaf Blade, Shadow Sneak, and Swords Dance as a moveset. You can set up Swords Dance with this thing and get rolling and absolutely done. Dominate. And behind my face cam, we got ourselves the boy Water Urshifu holding that life orb and it can hit through protect because of its ability with certain strikes, close combat, aqua jet, and detect that works like a protect. I don't know why, like, what's the difference between detect and protect? Is there really a difference? Is it just a fighting one? I'm kind of confused on that, but if there is a difference, let me know in the comment section down below. Next up, we got Arcanine with Intimidate and a Soul Fest. I love Arcanine. This one's attacking with Flare Blitz for stab, extreme speed for first turn priority, wild charge for coverage, and Bull Lewis actually slow down the opponent's speed. Then we got Raichu over here, and Raichu is going to be paired well up with this Drifflin over here, considering we have Brutal Swing, which is super effective. It can trigger Unburden and the Weakness Policy, so that will be huge as a nice little lead. This thing also has Fake Out, so we can get the first turn flinch, protect, and bolt tackle. Then in the final spot, we got the boy Spore Pokemon over here, Amoongus with the Oka Berry, so it can eat up a Fire Shot and Regenerator, so when we swap out, we get some more HP. It also has Rage Powder to actually distract Pokemon, Sludge Bomb for stab damage, and protect. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's try to get back into some Pokemon Sword and Shield and get some wins on the rank ladder. I forgot to mention that this team was made by Sage and Park, so I'm going to be leaving all of their information to like their YouTube, if they have a YouTube, anything that is them in the description below. Definitely go check it out. They made the last Unburdened Drifloon team, and it rocked out, so definitely shout out to them for making this team. But rocking out in the first battle, we're going up against a Trick Room team, and we have nothing really to counter Trick Room. I could fake out, roll out from there, but then he also has Dust Cop, so I can't fake it out. Hmm. Hmm. No Psychic Terrain, which is huge. Which is huge. Now that Indeedies are gone, we don't have to worry about Psychic Terrains. Uh, I could roll straight out with Drifloon and just roll from there, go into Brutal Swings, and just start like going Ghost Moves. That could be pretty good. That could, be, that could work out pretty swell for us. I'm going to go Raichu, and I will go uh, Drifloon, no problem. I think I'm going to bring Amoongus in the back as well, in case that comes out. And then maybe Life Orb over here? Let's see who's slower. It's either Decidueye or uh, Urshifu we're going to go with. Decidueye is 90, which isn't bad, but if he gets to trick him up, he's going to be rolling anyway. Like, all of his Pokemon are lower than 90, so I think what's going will work way better in this instance. Urshifu. I'm going to get Urshifu out here and roll from there. I think it's fine. I think we're going to be chilling with this. Trick him is going to be a pain. I think that's our only problem here is Trick Room. That's pretty fair, but maybe I shouldn't have even went into like the, uh, the what's called the Raichu. Maybe should have just went something else with the drift one just to do bigger damage. Maybe if he gets out the dust claps. But I'm thinking, I am thinking if he goes Hatterene, I can still fake it out easily. He's gonna go Hatterene dust claps. Who are you going with? He's gonna go Hatterene and Urshifu. So Urshifu actually might protect here. I can totally see it happen. Do I just go into a brutal swing or do, do I fake out? How should I roll this one? I think we should be fine here. I think I should be fine just go into a nice little fake out. And then, uh, just Shadow Ball into this thing. Because this thing might protect. I can see it maybe protecting, so let's see what happens here. Let's just see what are you going to do. Hmm. No detect. Detect does not come out. Okay, that's fine. We're going to be able to do some big damage over on this Hatterene and Rock Slide's coming out. Ooh, wee. So you can trigger my Unburden. That's totally fine. You can trigger it myself. That's totally fine. So now I don't have to go for a Brutal Swing. I'm cool with that. I am totally cool with that. This should be able to take out the Hatterene, no problem. We should be able to just say bye-bye to it. Bro, what you mean? What you mean? Game's nuts. All right, we're just gonna go for a Volt Tackle over here, and then I'm definitely going to Dynamax and drop a big old. Yeah, do I do I still Dynamax? I think Dynamax is safe here. I think Dynamax is safe. And guys, bear with me if I make some bad plays in today's video. It's because I haven't played Pokemon in like five days, and you guys know if you play Pokemon like every single day, that takes a toll on you. Not playing for five days, you'll start losing your mind, making big mistakes. You're like, bro, what am I doing? But so I, I feel like we should be fine today, and we should be rolling out. 
But we're gonna Dynamax this Shift Bloom, get rolling from there. Cause I think I think we're fine. Go up to 140, double that. We didn't have to use our brutal swing, but still, yeah, that Rock Slide did a good amount of damage. I think Volt Tackle might have a chance of taking this thing out. And now Hatterene protects. Okay, Hatterene protects still. I should be able to do some nice damage over here. Regardless. And you still outspeed me? You still outspeed me, you buttery biscuit? How do you out outspeed me? You gotta be Scarf. He's Scarf into it. Are we still gonna take this thing out? That's still some big damage. That's still some big damage. Show me that this Volt Tackle does take out here. And watch. Raichu's gonna, Raichu's gonna flinch. I'm gonna be mad. But defense is down, so I feel like uh, he, we should be able to take this thing out with a Volt Tackle. If we can act. Yep. Volt Tackle comes out here. Finish this thing off. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him gone. Get him gone. We chilling out. We're looking good. Full tackle comes out for big damage. Super effective. And he was minus one. That was awesome. And ooh, right, right goes down the roof. Right That's actually fine. I'd rather get out of different Pokemon right now. Probably my Amoongus. Yeah, 100%. I'd rather get out my Amoongus because I can uh, Spore. I can Rage Powder. I can do all these different things right now. Um, And I'm thinking my Amoongus will outspeed that uh, Hatterene. It really depends who he goes into. He's going to go into Rhyperior. Okay. Do I definitely Rage Powder this? Then, hmm. I really want to rage powder this, and then just drop a, uh, just drop this over on you, and start doing, trying to do big damage at least. It's tough news. He, he is special defense. I'm definitely gonna rage powder this, because my what's called should be able to eat up no problem. Actually, I don't know if that was the right call. Hmm. This one's gonna be close. He's gonna go right here. He's gonna drop a rock, which is totally fine. And I'd be, I'm rage powdering over to the side. But then does he get off that trick then? That's the real question. I can just rage powder again. This one's gonna be real close. This one's gonna be real close. I need my Moogus to be able to eat up a, a max rock ball. Here goes my rage powder. Get over here. I do have Aqua Jet. I do have Aqua Jet rolling out with my Urshfu, so that might be able to come up clutch later in the game. Here goes my Phantasm. Dropping defense. Bop. Doing some nice damage as well. Nice, nice damage as well. So let's see what happens here. There's a defense drop for both of them. And I think Hatterene's gonna try to set up this trick. Am I correct? Max Lightning coming out here. Yo, you going after my what's it called? You're going after my drift button. So that's beautiful. That is good to do. That, that was actually a good play by me. And hopefully that Hatterene might be going for something that I can eat up. I need Drift Blin to be able to be able to eat up a shot. Let's see what happens. Trick room. Expanding force is coming out here. Oh. Well, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Oh, one HP. I love you, Amoongus! Amoongus, let's get it. Um, I think we're fine here. I think we're totally fine here. We go into Phantasm. And can pick up the double kill. He's gonna protect. I know that for a fact, right? Yeah. He's gonna protect. I still have to pose that threat. And I think Amoongus outspeeds a Hatterene all day. I think Amoongus outspeeds Hatterene all day long. Am I correct on that? Yeah. Amoongus outspeeds Hatterene. Hatterene's one of the slowest in the game. So I'm just gonna come out here. Pick up the beautiful KO. And does that come down to... Did we take out both his Pokemon? Is this a 3v1 now? Or does he have one more left? I think we took out both, right? No, we didn't. If he's communicating. No, he has one more. And we still have Urshifu, which is nice. It is the Dust Cops. Okay. So here's where things are getting a little crazy. Here's where things will get a little crazy. Okay. Definitely still got a rocket to a Shadow Ball. That's a fact. Do I have Rage Powder? Do I Spore? I'm going to Rage Powder. This Rhyperior is going to be faster. So I'm going to eat up that shot. I am going to Shadow Ball over onto the Rhyperior slot. If he does switch it up, I'm still going to do some big damage over on Dusclops. And we will be able to get off another turn in the next round. I think we're sitting pretty well here. Let's see what happens here. Here's my Rage Powder. So we're going to soak up the Rhyperior shot. And what's going on might be able to take me out the Dusclops. But if I can get off the Shadow Ball, maybe pick up the KO. Do it. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Drift Flame clutching it up. It is so good. I love these teams. Like I said, I used the first uh, uh, Sage and Parks. Drift Bloom team in season like three and I absolutely dominated with it like it was one of my favorite teams I ever used and then it eventually just got outdated and it overplayed the, how normal Pokemon teams go but yeah we rocked out we rocked out in today's video I'm not rage powdering um I can sport I don't think it really matters we should drop a sludge bomb I think we're totally chilling here he it will outspeed me which is tough news actually I should have rage powder I should have rage powdered oh he just canceled battle okay it's fine I was gonna say I should have rage powder in case he takes out my Drift Bloom, but we won that match anyway Back like I never left, guys. We just crushed it on that first battle. Got ourselves a win coming back into some Pokemon battles. But we got another Trick Room team here. Actually, it's like half Trick Room, half he could tail win. He can do a lot with this team. He has Draco's all here. I got a picture that thing's going to be Life Orb. 100%. So that thing's going to be Life Orb. Got to watch out for uh, my Drift Bloom here. 
Gotta watch out for Driftbone here because that Jekyll's Oak can just run it. Jekyll's Oak could just go in and do some dirty work. Um, I kind of want to not bring Driftbone and go Raichu Arcanine with Urshifu and the Decidueye in the back. I feel like that could be really, really good. I feel like that could be really, really good because Driftbone will just get dumped on by, uh, what's called all day? By the Draco's Oak all day. But then, same thing, if he brings Talonflame, E, if he brings Talonflame, I can actually just dump on it with my Raichu. Fake out, do something like that, get the Intimidate off. And Intimidate will work well up against a lot of these guys. So I am going to lead my Arcanine and Raichu. And I think I'm just going to bring uh, Urshifu. Or do I lead Urshifu? And then bring in. Because Urshifu is not a bad lead. Now we'll bring Urshifu in the back considering he is Life Orb. And then we'll go to the Situai. And then we'll get Koken from there. Let's get it. Let's get it. We should be chilling. We should, we should be looking good. Should be looking good. If not, then the third and final battle is going to decide if we get the winning record or not. I've been liking Urshifu a lot too, especially the water Urshifu with the Aqua Jet. It's just, it's just such a nice combination. You got the Surgeon Strikes, you got the close combat for big stab fighting damage, and then Aqua Jet for the stab. He, he, just, he just learns a nice little moveset here. But I guess he is going to roll Trick him here, which is totally fine. You can go ahead, go ahead, use your Trick him, little boy. Use it. I ain't scared of you. We're going to get the Intimidate. Does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, Definitely got to pick out Pre Marina and then roll from here. Well, I'm just going to go Pre Marina and then into a Wild Charge. See my focus sash. Leave my focus sash alone. Leave it alone. Definitely wild charge. We're doubling up. Primarine is definitely protecting. Gotta be right. Gotta be right. I'm still gonna go after it. I'm still gonna go after it. Watch I call it, didn't I? No. Sweet. Awesome. Beautiful. If he would have protect, that would have been bad for us. But I think this thing could be dead. Oh, and now an ally switch comes out. Now an ally switch. Yo, you buttery biscuit. I got my soul fest. You flinch anyway. Wild charge coming out. Lightning round. Oh, who's wait? Oh, Raichu's lightning round. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? We lightning round. We boosting, yo. We boosting. But that's special attack, isn't it? Isn't that special attack? <laughs> Hold up. I think that's special attack boost. And we're not using special attack. Yeah, that's special attack. <laughs> oh my god. See, like I said in the first battle, if I make dumb moves, uh, that is why. Uh, you guys already know why. Uh, I could definitely go into a player, but it's working. Uh, I could hmm, swap out here. Swap into Urshifu. I don't think Urshifu is a bad call here. Let's swap into? We're really just swapping this is your life. Now I said we leave Arcanine. I said we leave Arcanine and we just drop a nice little Foyer Blitz over onto this slot. And then there's no way your ally switching again, so I'm just gonna drop a Bolt Tackle over on this side. See if I can dump on him. He does. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, man. What you mean? Get him out of here. Hyper Voice coming out of here. Arcanine's gonna be able to eat that up. Soul Vest it. Looking all good. There's no way you ally switch for three turns in a row. Like, it, I'm correct on that, right? And it's weird that you outspeed me. It is weird that you outspeed both my Pokemon. So we are going to be dead. He's going to pick up the double kill here. I'll be rough. Ooh, not bad damage, you know. Not bad damage. But it's weird you outspeed my Raichu. The premier, how slow is this Raichu? Let's see this thing. Let's see this thing speed. Raichu's usually, like, like on the faster side. 170. This thing's got to be Scarf. I was gonna say, like, how you outspeeded me? You gotta be scarfed. Well, we're both dead. The fact. I mean, I'll try to go for another Volt Tackle. Hmm. I mean, I'll try to. Well, this thing's definitely scarfed in the Hyper Voice. Are you ever see Scarf from Marina? Right? Please tell me this thing's scarfed, guys, right? Let me know in the comment section down below if this thing's scarfed. Because Prima Marina is usually like 100, around 100 speed. Like, I'm 170, what was that, 178? You're not speeding me? That's nuts. That's nuts, but I'm not gonna count this out just yet. He didn't set up Trick Room. I can get out the Sigiwai, I can 100% Dynamax him. Whatever I really want to do here. I'm gonna Dynamax, uh... Yeah, I gotta Dynamax the Sigiwai. Get get him rolling, and then, uh... Do I take out the Clops? I think the Clops is a safe, uh, safe Pokemon to go after. I think we're fine just Dynamax him, or do I Swords Dance? <laughs> I could Swords Dance. Move fails if the target doesn't have an item. That move rocks out. I could Sword Stance here, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to get straight after. Start low and do defensive stats. And I think I'm just going to protect here. I think I'm just going to protect. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to protect. If he allies, which is that's totally fine by me. You should be fine killing off that Primarina with a max phantasm anyway. But we're down. It is a 4v2. And I feel like... We have a chance to clutch this up. We got two big dogs rolling out here. We got the Sidui Dynamax and we got Life Orb. Big dog over here. Life Orb Urshifu. 
He can do some work. He's at first turn priority. I feel like, like, dude, this Primarina is fast, man. But it's gotta be Scarf from the Hyper Boost, right? The tech comes out here. Yeah, yo, get out of my face. Get out of my face, little boy. We protected ourselves. Yeah, this thing is totally scarfed into a uh, Hyper Boost. 100%. 100%, and that's gonna be easy to eat for us. Like, tasty, like, so delicious, man. And then Dustcop should be able to roll out here and say, see you later, punk. Get him out of here. Get him gone. Get him out of here. Get, get, get out of here, kid. All right, that thing's gone. Dracozole is probably gonna come out here, but the thing is, Dracozole isn't gonna be Sash now. It's gonna be Life Orb and Hustle, if I had to guess. Right, Life Orb, Hustle, Dracozole, it's gonna pop out here. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I'm 100% gonna have to do something about that. And he's so fast. Here it comes, right? We coming. No, Urshifu. Fruit. Ooh, Urshifu Fruit popping out here. Urshifu Fruit popping out here. I'm gonna go take out you. And then throw his close combat into him. And say we outspeed him. I'm gonna hope for it. I'm gonna hope for it. It might be a speed tie. It might be a speed tie, but we're looking to win this one. If I had a if I had a flying move, I would have totally used it to take out the uh, Cream Marine here and get the speed boost as well. But he could be dynamashing the Urshifu. Could be doing that. But dude, this Cream Marine is just speedy. Every voice comes out. It's Scarf. It's 100% Scarf. I can't even, like, not say it's not Scarf. And he gets a crit. What you mean? Oh, your Urshifu outspeeds? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. And he gets a crit double crit? What you mean? What you mean? That still might have been taking me out regardless. But still, he just double critted on me. And now my defense is going to drop. And we're going to be dead next turn. I think it might be uh, Sash, too. No, it's not. We still teed off on it. We still absolutely teed off, but our defense is down now. We got our defense and special defense drop. Dude, you really got a crit on me. You really got a crit. I feel like that might have killed either way. And I kind of want to see that thing speed, so I might check it out after this battle. Just to see if it was a speed tie and we just lost it. But we'll see. This game is 100% over. 100% over. I'm still going to drop this on this thing, because I want it out of here. I just might be able to outspeed the Draco, though. We'll see. Every voice actually might just kill us because of the defense drop. Yeah, that's game over. Man, dang it, man. We go one and one so far. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get ourselves a winning record. And I definitely got to check out that Urshifu speed just because I want to. <laughs> third and final battle coming at you guys. I actually hit the button where I cannot have the option to see teams after the battle. So that kind of stinks. But I still want to check out this Urshifu speed and see if its EVs are all the way up on speed. It is. So this thing's 163. That thing's got, it has to be, I'm thinking, a speed tie, right? Or is the other Urshifu just naturally faster? I'm not too sure. You guys will probably know. You guys will probably know. But we, but we are going up against a lap press team with Comfy. Lap press and Comfy. Yo, tough little combo here. Um, who should I bring out here? I mean, what's called could do some work. But he cannot take an ice shot very well. This is why. I still might go into my uh, Raichu. And then just uh, Raichu Drift Bloom. It's not sounding bad, right? It's not sounding too bad. I'm going to lead that. And bring... uh. I mean, I think Decidueye. I don't. I do not need Arcanine. And then I think uh, Urshifu can uh, rock out later in the match. Let's get it. Let's get. Yo, dude, let's get rolling with this. Let's get rolling with this. Any Trick Room? Oh yeah. What's called can roll Trick Room. Comfy can roll Trick Room and Goth Tail. I shouldn't have Goth Tail, but we'll see who we go through. Goth Tail does also roll fake out, fake out, so I gotta watch out for that. Maybe I can just outspeed it and fake it out with my Raichu. That's fine by me. And then just dump a Shadow Ball over onto its side and say, "Get out my face. Leave me alone." <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna lead? Show me Gotho. I would actually like that. Nope. The Wombo combo. The Wombo combo coming out here. I might just start off with a Bolt Tackle. Or I'm definitely gonna pick out the Confi. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick out the Confi. Drop the Shadow Ball over there. But yo, get out of my face, Confi. And this thing's probably just gonna take out my Drift with the Mac, uh, G Max Resonance. And if that happens, ah, I'm kinda cool with it. I'm cool with it. Because I can just get out the CGY. Start rolling. And start rolling. Get that uh, grassy terrain out there. And then I could just bolt tackle into it and double up. But we're gonna see what this thing does. And he's definitely trying to go for a trick room. And yeah, get that thing out my face. Get it out my face, dog. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. You're gonna come out with you. Neutralizing gas, so unburdened will not pop out if uh, that happens. Unburdened is not allowed. And lightning rod is not allowed either, so that might be the play. That might have been the play. If you lightning shot me, yo, I'm gonna give you mad props, but you gotta be going into the G Max room. Am I right? Cause that would have been a nasty play, yo. You're just like, all right, take off the lightning rod. Let me drop a lightning over on the drift blimp, take it out, GG. But no, you gotta be going for the residents either way. Let's see what happens here. Here comes pick out. Should maybe just brutal swing, but I'm hoping maybe we can get the defense drop here from the shadow ball, right? Or special defense drop, one or the other. Nope, nothing. Here comes the residents. Over onto my blimp. I'm sorry, blimp. I'm sorry, man. He's gone. He's gone. 
Rough third battle already. <laughs> At least we got to show up battle number one and rock out with that. But Aurora Bell is popping. It's looking all spiffy, looking all good. Um, I think fighting moves should just break screens in general. Nah, I think more fighting moves should break screens in general. Like, maybe, like, like I know we got Brick Break and all that, but that's, like, the one of the only ones, you know? I feel like some other fighting moves, like close combat, should get maybe lower damage. And instead of defense drop, it breaks. That'd be pretty cool. It breaks uh, screens. But I definitely gotta get this CGI out here. This CGI, yeah, 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 yeah. Get him out here. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. This thing's like a glass can. That's what I've been realizing. Like, I love it. He does a lot of damage, but he, does, he doesn't take shots too well. I'm gonna overgrowth over on you. And then I think I just. I think I just get air for this thing. There's no way you protect. There is no way you protect. Not a chance. Not a chance you go for the protect. We're gonna die next. I'm doubling up on this thing. I'm trying to go full back into max over. Get the crazy train. Put it on our side. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We'll see. Get it. Get it, big owl. Like, I wish this thing. Every time I play this thing, I wish he, uh. I always say I wish he has three typings. Like, he should definitely be flying ghost and grass. Like, you can put all those in any order and he'd be rocking with it. Like, if he wasn't even grass, he'd be fine. And this thing guards? Bro, what a read. What a read. I'll give it to him 100%. What a read, dog. Buttery biscuit. Buttery biscuit, dude. Bro, this thing really just guarded on me. Ah! Ah! No! No! Nah, that's game. That is game. This dude just outsmarted me like crazy, dude. The burn, man. Not the burn. Now we're, we're still gonna double up into it. Let's get after it. If he protects again and it works, I'm gonna cry. Just a little bit. Ooh, this thing really just burned my boy. He just burned me. I'm gonna withdraw. Okay. He's coming after me. Confi's coming back in, right? Confi's definitely coming back in. Nope, Malwack popping off. Get after it. Lightning. Wow. Wow. This dude. This dude's playing. This dude came to play today. This dude came to play. And this is what I was talking about. Like, I don't even realize any of this anymore. Like, I'm not realizing the lightning rod and all that. But, dude, he's just out smarting me like crazy right now. Read the max guard for double, double protect. Puts a burn on me. Gets the lightning rod. And now he's out here geysering. Taking weather control. Oh, my lord. This dude. This dude just going off, man. I give him mad props. I don't even care that I'm going to lose. Like, I know I'm going to lose this game. I got to give this dude 100% props for the plays he's making. That is amazing. That is amazing. Wish I could get my burn off, but... I wish, man. There should be... Is there any moves that just, like, take off, like, dash conditions? Like, I don't know. I think that should be a thing, too. Like, teammates moves that just, like, I can shoot over. Like, if I shoot at, like, a healing move, just shoot it over to the decision and heal him up. I feel like this thing's going to protect... I'm just gonna go there. I cannot go for that. Um, I guess I'll protect. <laughs> I guess I'll protect. Try to waste out a little bit of time. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm protected now. What you want? What do you want? You're gonna go for protect. Bruh! What the? This dude! Is he double protecting? This dude! It's like, is he? Is he behind me? Is he behind me? This dude's gotta be behind me. He's gotta be like, am I, am I live? Did I hit stream instead of record? Like, dude, this dude owning on me. Like, this is gonna be a YouTube channel or a YouTube video on this guy's channel. He's gonna be like, absolutely murking jeans, like <laughs> putting them in his place. <laughs> but jeez, man, I don't think I ever took a whoop in this bag. This dude's just out playing. Like, I should just run, just save my time, just save the beating. But we'll see. I just want to keep battling out this guy. I know I'm going to lose. But I really just want to see if this guy's making any other sick moves. Hmm. I guess I'll go for Leaf Blade. No. No, you go for Poltergeist. You go for Poltergeist. And I don't even know what to do with him. I guess I'll go for Brutal Swing. Hit everybody. <laughs> see what happens here. Brutal Swing comes out. <gasps> Doing some decent damage all around. This hit UI. Should go up next. Alter guys comes out here. Yeah. Using your thick club against you, buddy. Using your thick club against you. Big damage. If we weren't burned, we were doing so much damage. That burn really clutched up from. Be sure I come out here and see you later. Gone. Get him going. 
He's gonna pick up the double kill, and it comes down to just Urshifu. And if Urshifu can clutch this up, he'd be the man. He'd be the man. Poltergeist failed, yo. Get out my face, yo. We chilling here. Oh, I got a plan here. Do we think this thing protects? Do we think this this thick club dude protects? Because if that's the case, we have a chance. If that's the case, I think we have a chance here. If he doesn't protect, I can Aqua Jet into him. Or I can double protect and predict him protecting. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double protect. Predict he's protecting. And then so he cannot protect next turn. Aqua Jet and then Volt Tackle. And then maybe try to take a 2 on 1 with my Urshifu. <laughs> Bro. Bro, what am I going to do? It's getting a little crazy. Getting a little crazy. Who's protecting? I'm protecting. Urshifu's detecting. We detecting. Is Malwak protecting? Show me Malwak protects. Just for free shot, we're blocking. It does not protect, bro. I could have just did it that turn. I could have been thriving that turn. I could have been thriving that turn. Watch, now he's gonna protect. I'm telling you, dude. This dude is behind me. He has cameras in my room, looking at my screen, seeing exactly what I'm doing. But Aqua Jet coming out here now, and then we volt tackle. Let's get it. Let's go. We're going for it. Do have the defensive drop onto that uh, Lapras. Watch, he's gonna protect now, the uh, Malwak. And if he protects the Malwak, that just screws me around. I'd rather him protect the uh, Lapras. Let's see, what you want, dude? Aqua Jet comes out, okay. Okay, bang, see you later. Hold the phone, Raichu's gonna go down here to recoil damage, we know that. But we need to pick up the KO here. We do have water as well. We do have water and certain strikes from one. Both out comes out. This should be able to pick up the KO. Get him out of my face. Get him gone. Okay. Hold the phone. Jeans is coming at you. He's got Confi. I gotta watch out for Confi with the draining kiss of first turn priority. I don't think we're gonna be able to eat that up. I think an Aqua Jet has to pick up the KO up against that thing. The rain stop. Bruh. What you mean? At the rain. Oh, we definitely lost this one. It's definitely over. He just goes for a draining kiss, right? Hands down. Drops a draining kiss on me. First turn priority with the uh, Triage ability. Triage? Is that how you pronounce it? I believe so. Yeah, we were making a comeback, man. We are making it happen. It was Confi and who else here? Who was the final mom? Oh, yeah, Weezy. It was Weezy. Neutralizing gas comes out. No triage anymore. Hold up. No triage anymore? Give me give me a second. Give me a second. I outspeed now. I outspeed now. We need to do some big damage, but I don't think we're going to be able to carry this thing. No, no way we're KOing. Unless, we, unless a mega crit is a thing now. And we get a mega crit. <laughs> okay. Triple crit. Does the move always crits? Man, dude, if it was raining, if it was raining, we would have won. If it was raining, we would have won, hands down. If it was raining, we would have won. That thing would have been dead and we would have been thriving. And we would have been thriving. Strange Strange comes out, though. Picks up the KO, and that dude just, he definitely deserved to win. He outplayed me so well in the beginning. But if it was raining, we would have actually had the comeback. The, the most insane comeback ever. But GG to that guy. We got one and two for today's video. Awesome team right here. I definitely have to learn it more because I know how strong a team like this can be. But we still went one and two. We got to show off that first battle and absolutely dominate and get that win. And then actually get shown off whoop in the third and final battle. But still, we had a good time. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.